word to your mother. I've been tagged to make this video, four fragrances to keep for life. I'm about to go to the cinema to watch Captain Marvel, so I need to make this one quick. Let's go. So I was actually tagged twice to do this video. I'm gonna give you a couple of clues, see if you can guess which channels tagged me. First clue you've already had at the beginning, it was word to your mother. And the second clue involves me doing a little bit of a dance. Start the music. Okay, that's enough of that. If you haven't guessed already, I've been tagged by Steve from Frags to Riches and Ehab from Notes Punch, both awesome channels. Really informative, both really good fun. They both have a lovely brand of humour on their channels. I will leave links to both their channels in the description below this video. So please, if you've not checked them out, go and check them out. If you like what they're doing, subscribe. Okay, four for life. These aren't my four favourite fragrances of all time because this is slightly different. This is seasonal. So it's one for each season. So I've tried to pick fragrances that excel in each of those seasons. It was tempting to pick really versatile fragrances like maybe Aventus or Chanel Allure Homme Sport O Extreme which work in all occasions and then you can wear them throughout the year and you can interchange. But I thought, no, let's do this properly. Let's do it one per season. So each of these fragrances, in my opinion, excels in each of the seasons I've chosen them for. Let's go. So first up, my pick for spring is the only designer fragrance on this list, although some people do classify this one as a niche. It's from Tom Ford. I'll give you a clue. It's got some oud in it. It's got some wood in it. Not getting it? All right, I'll tell you. It's oud wood. Let's have a little bit of music for this bottle. Word to you, my lad. Monster. Word, word, word to you, my lad. Monster. Monster. Oudwood is one of my all-time favourites. It's got a little bit of freshness, bit of greenness, nice woody depth. So you wouldn't want to wear this in the really high heat and it may get lost a little bit in the really cold weather because it's not the biggest performer, although it doesn't perform badly. So I think this is perfect for spring because you've got uh, the cooler, fresh edge to some spring days, but you've also got some nice warmth as well. So for me, Oudwood is perfect. To me, this just oozes class and sophistication. The ladies love it. Out of all the Tom Ford private blends, I feel like most ladies say they prefer oud wood on a man. So if that's not a reason to pick this one up, fellas, then I don't know what is. I also find this pretty uh, versatile in terms of the occasions. So you could wear this as a signature day scent, or you could wear this as a, a formal scent or a date night scent. So throughout the season of spring, you can wear this in other seasons if you want, but for me it does excel in spring. I um, believe it's similar to uh, Carve Dude by Tamin. I've not tried that one. Some people say that that one is even better, so I'd be really curious to test that one with this. If you tried Carve Dude, let me know what you think of it. How does it compare to Oudwood? Okay, on to my summer pick, and this is from a brand that really excels in summer fragrances. It's Aqua de Palma. This one is my favorite from the house. It's Colonia Ascenza. Let's uh, show some love to the bottle. Word to you, my lad. Word, word, word to you, my Monster. So for me, this has some juicy citruses, particularly a lovely lemon in there. There's also neroli, which is fairly prominent, particularly in the top of this. Neroli is a white floral that is pretty sweet, almost like a honey sweetness, but it has a citrusy type of smell as well. There's also some other white florals in this. There's lily of the valley. There's some jasmine, which give a real kind of uh, full-bodied indolic accord to the heart of this fragrance. This is like a beautiful Mediterranean breeze. It has a freshness to it, a lightness, but also it has body and depth, which boost the performance. It's very similar in its profile to the original Aqua de Palma Colonia, which again is gorgeous, but because this one's got a bit more depth, I think performance on this is definitely improved. I love the original, but I just feel that this lasts a little bit longer and performs better. This is ideal for summer. My autumn pick is from the house of Nasamato. Love Nasamato. I own several of their fragrances and my intention is to pick up lots more. This one to me is just ideal for autumn. Actually, a lot of their range work really well in the autumn, but this one is my favorite. I'm talking about Pardon. Let's hear the music for Pardon. Word to you, my lad. Word, word, word to you, my lad. Monster. Monster. 
So in this one, the prominent notes to me, what makes this so beautiful is that balance between oud and dark chocolate. There's also some cinnamon in here, some sandalwood providing some sweetness, some smoothness. To me, Pardon smells complex and intriguing. It certainly attracts attention, or it has done for me, every time I've worn this. In fact, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna say it demands attention. It's got great performance, and it's such an intoxicating smell that draws you in. I think people can't help but, but smell it and notice it and inquire as to what it is you're wearing. It manages to be potent and smooth at the same time. I find it to be sophisticated, decadent and bold. Pardon certainly makes no apologies for itself. Y yeah, I went there. For my winter pick, I'm choosing one from one of my favourite houses, Parfums de Mali. I find their fragrances tend to be rich, full-bodied, luxurious, beast performers a lot of the time so they really do work well in the colder weather this one is possibly the best of them it's certainly my favorite and it is the beautiful carlisle ready to dance go for it word to you mala master word 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 to you mala master master got some moves as well so I'm not gonna list off the notes for this that you can find online because I don't really find that they match up with what I get from this fragrance. But I'll tell you what I do get. I get a lovely, rich, kind of wet pipe tobacco, not a dry tobacco. And I also get a little drop of rum, a hint of cocoa. It's got some woody, oody depth. This feels complex and it feels luxurious, it feels like there's a lot going on in this, but it's really easy to wear. I think you find with a lot of Parfums de Mali's, they do uh, offer quite accessible niche fragrances, and to me, Carlisle is no exception. That Parfums de Mali's DNA gives it a beast performance. To me, this is as good a performance as I've had from any fragrance. It just cuts through that winter air perfectly. You don't need to spray much of this because it is so strong. Two or three sprays, especially if you're indoors in the winter time and it's gonna be projecting massively. If you're gonna be spending time outside, maybe go for a few more sprays, but it still uh, will project even in that cold air. And this is one of those gorgeous scents that you can spray in the morning and 10 hours later, you'll still be getting lovely wafts of it. So you really do get good value for money with this one. Okay, those are my four. I hope you enjoyed my picks. If I could only keep four for life, I would be more than happy with those four fragrances. They would just see me through the year, uh, absolutely no problem. And of course, there's crossover between the seasons a little bit with them as well. But each of them really do excel in the seasons that I chose them for. I really just wish that someone could have handed me these four fragrances a few years ago and it would have saved me a lot of money. Okay, right, that's the end of my video. I do need to tag a couple of people. I'm gonna do a UK reviewer tag and also a US reviewer tag. So the UK reviewer I'm gonna tag is Mr. Smelly. I don't think I've seen a video from you uh, for Four Fragrances for Life, so I'd love to see what you choose. And the US reviewer I'm gonna tag is Max40. Max has got a great channel. Uh, he's been going for a few years, he gets all the new releases, he's uh, very informative and both Max and Dan are dapper looking gents so I thought it would be nice to pair them together in this tag. So no pressure guys, if you've got the time I would love to see your picks. Okay, I'm done. Let me know what you think of my four fragrances. I enjoyed picking them. It was a real challenge. And if you ask me next week, I could even maybe choose four different fragrances. But right here, right now, these are the four for life. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good. <laughs>